So the power just went out in my house. It's on! We have power! Hello my sweet potatoes, it is Michelle and today I am back and I'm going to be talking about how to survive school and I guess just life in general if you're a very shy person like myself. I took the Myers-Briggs test before and I'm pretty sure I came out to be like an INFJ or something like that so I am very introverted. I use my feelings, I care a lot about other people, I care about what people think of me. So if you are like that and you are kind of struggling with your shyness on like how to make friends or like how to talk to new people. I have some tips and tricks that I gathered throughout my years to hopefully help some of you guys out. And remember, it's okay if you're shy, like you don't have to be someone that you're not. So today's shout out goes out to Mariana Bastos. Thank you so much for subscribing and commenting on all of my videos. You comment so much all the time, so thank you so much. And if you guys want a chance at being the next video shout out, then all you have to do is subscribe and comment down below. The more that you comment, the more I get to know you and the better chance you have of being shouted out. By the way, I am standing for this video today because I feel like I have a greater range of motion and I can express myself better to you guys and there are people walking outside of my window right now. Okay, they passed. They didn't see me. <laughs> so that's all for my intro. Let's begin with the video. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about if you're a very shy person is to try to not have such high expectations for yourself. I know for me, I used to have super high expectations for myself on how I should interact with these people and how much I should be interacting at a time and it just became too too overwhelming for me at least I have these bursts of energy where I want to talk to people but then after like an hour or so I get so drained and I just need to be by myself to recharge some days I would be like I'm gonna talk to 10 new people today I'm gonna make like five new friends uh, but really it's just not realistic and I end up kind of disappointing myself in the end because I didn't do any of that take it one day at a time you're not gonna be as outgoing and adventurous and outspoken as you want all the time and that's totally fine one thing that I also like to do is to make sure that I sit next to someone new like every single day especially if it's in the beginning of the school year or the semester where I still might not know everyone especially if you have like presentations in front of the class or you need to do like speeches in front of the entire class you already kind of know everyone and you're kind of more comfortable with everyone so it just makes everything a little easier in the end the next tip that I have is to stand slash walk with confidence so by that I mean to not slouch have good posture stand straight with your shoulders back your arms back your chest out and your chin level just having good posture like this and walking with confidence walking like you have somewhere to go can just make you feel more confident it kind of tricks your mind into thinking yes I am confident the next thing I want to talk about are power poses so this is kind of similar to standing with confidence walking with confidence. So if you're a truly shy person, then you know that presentations and public speaking in front of your class is one of the worst things. And I mean, I get it. I totally understand it, but it's it's a necessary thing that we all need to go through. So in order for you to feel a little bit more confident, do some power poses. Now, I learned about this through a TED talk. So this lady was talking about power posing and she was basically saying to stand with your arms up like this or like your arms out to your side and stand very tall with good posture just like taking up a lot of space around you basically is like saying I am here and I am present and doing that again will kind of trick your brain into thinking I am ready to conquer I've done it myself um, before going up for presentations and I definitely think it does help a lot of the times when we feel scared or nervous or anxious we tend to you know close ourselves off and kind of bring ourselves into a ball make ourselves as small as possible so that we go as unnoticed as possible but when you are trying to look confident we want to you know open ourselves up you can do this in the back of the class you can go to the bathroom wherever no one is not watching if you're not comfortable with it and just strike some power poses and get yourself mentally prepared because really it's all mind over matter so anything that can help you prepare mentally will help you perform better another thing that you can do is join a club so I was in band I was in Japanese club I was considering joining the anime club and in college I was in a business club it's easier to join a club if you already have friends in those clubs 
but sometimes that is not the case so just remember that it's okay for you to like go out and do your own thing by yourself most of the times the things that we worry about like oh, i'm not gonna make any friends i'm gonna be such a loner like those things are so pointless to worry about because a lot of the times it's not even true and it won't even happen so you are worrying for nothing but just joining a club or some other like organization at school can help you so much in meeting other like-minded people and you already have the same interests as these people so it makes it so much easier to talk about things that you have in common and get to know someone you kind of need to force yourself into new situations sometimes and remember that it's okay because growth begins at the end of your comfort zone um, I know you've probably heard that saying before but it's true we need to step out of our comfort zone every now and then or else we won't grow as a person and we won't develop our character and I think that's really important. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is to speak up. I know a lot of the times it might feel like you know your opinions don't matter but it does. I used to think that like conversations were meaningless if I'm not giving some significant information with every word that I say but it's not true and it's totally fine. Everything that you say is valid and has a place to be heard so you speak your mind also you don't even have to tell people that you're shy like I used to be the type of person like when I met someone new I would just be like oh sorry I'm just like a really shy person but like I would like be very apologetic like don't apologize you don't have anything to be sorry for like this is something that I'm still trying to learn if you don't even tell them that you're really shy that they might not even think you're shy in the first place I've definitely met people before who I have talked to and later on they come back to tell me that oh I think you're a very social and gregarious person you seem very outgoing and I was like me what you know like it just depends on how you click with some people sometimes and also that's another thing I guess like you don't have to click with every single person that you meet you're gonna have differences with people and that's okay so I know that in like middle school high school it's a little harder to make new friends because I feel like people already have their little group of friends that they like to hang out with so making new friends can be a little more difficult I think this is a lot easier in college but you know maybe it will help to have small talk with this person first maybe you like are sitting next to them in a class or you see them like in the library or something and it can be something as simple like saying I like your shirt where did you get it from just little compliments like that can be a segue into like I don't know some bigger conversation so when I was growing up I would say that I had a good amount of friends but I didn't have a lot of friends I'm the type of person to have a small amount of friends but very high quality friends so quality over quantity for me when it comes to friendships and remember that that is okay too like you don't have to be the most popular person in school with all of these friends so it's good to just have a small group of friends that you are really close with and can be totally comfortable and yourself around the next thing that I want to talk about is relaxing like sometimes I find that I'm so tense like I'm so anxious and I'm feeling so shy and insecure about myself that I end up tensing up all of my muscles especially on my shoulders and like my neck and I just feel so uncomfortable like I'm in a box that I can't move in or something and just like catch yourself sometimes and remember to relax I feel like the more tense you are the more like shy and insecure that you're gonna feel I sound like such a crazy person talking about all these things but these are things that I have actually like struggled with throughout my years in school and lastly i just want you to remember that you are unique and it is okay if you feel like you're different because most likely it's a good thing that you're different you don't want to be the same as anyone else now if your shyness is really taking over your life in a way that it is preventing you from going out and doing things that you enjoy then i would seek some like professional help i'm just here to like share my experiences and share some things that have helped me get through my shyness and get through school and just like life in general being a very shy little potato that i am so that is all for my video today i did a lot of rambling but i hope it helped some of you guys out these are just things that i learned in my own experience being a very shy person myself and i hope that you go out there and conquer with confidence so thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like this video comment down below subscribe and I will see you in my next video bye